Today we're using filters for something other than water and Instagram. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We've got an action pack show for you today. We're gonna be ranting about the hassles of travel while sucking on helium, mm -hmm. and we're gonna be sampling a bunch of discontinued candies, including one that is 50 years old. Oh, but first, we're going into experiment mode with water filter pitchers. Yes, they're made for water, but what happens if we put other liquids through them? It's time for, will this water filter make things taste off kilter? That's right, we are gonna push water filters past their limit by sending non-water substances through them and noting for science and posterity yes. what happens. Uh, in case you're curious, we're gonna be using the Zero Water Pitcher, not a sponsor, because the Mythical Crew did some tests and it showed that that was the best one uh, to use for what we're gonna put through it. Let's keep the situation fluid and start filtering. If you're an avid listener to our podcast, Ear Biscuits, comes out every week, then you know that I am an avid family man RVer. Yeah, I like to load up my family. You've and done it one time. <laughs> take it, yeah. I have plans to take my family on an RV to Mountain Dew. Oh, It's, it's beautiful this time oh, of year, yeah. and I wanna bottle our Mountain Dew at the source. And now we're gonna find out if once I bring it back for the kids, what happens once we filter it? Get out all the I don't know if the mountain is gonna come out or the dew. I think the mountain's gonna stay in the filter and the dew's gonna come out in the wash. It's ringing like a cellular telephone. All right, let's see what happens. Okay. It looks blue, but that's just the color of the picture. It's a teeny bit cloudy. Let's pour it next to the real thing. Oh, now, there's no fizz. There's no carbonation. And there's very little color. That's the dew, that's the dew, bro. Bro, that's just the dew. Hey. It completely filtered out all of the mountain. And now we just have mountain in this filter. We could sell mountain filters. Yes. You want a filter that's just got mountain in it? There it is. I'd buy that. $80. No, good price. Take a, take a, take a swig. You know what Mountain Dew tastes like. Not as good as Mellow Yellow. I'm gonna hold my reaction until I can still taste Mountain Dew. I, I can't, because I tasted Mountain Dew right oh, beforehand. Yeah, I think oh. it put me in the perfect, it put me right in the- I thought it was freaking just straight up water. Next to Mountain Dew, you probably thought that. But... I was freaking out inside and just waiting for you to join me. I thought we were gonna have like a mountaintop celebration. Something made it through. A little piece of the mountain made it through. You can taste a little, it actually tastes like flat LaCroix at this point. <laughs> it tastes like a, a lemon lime I, LaCroix. I get it, I get it. You get but it? That's flat. That's, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah. So, if you're into that, flat, tepid LaCroix, <laughs> then you know what you need to do. If you love a burning sensation in your mouth, but you're afraid of eating fire, then ask your dentist if Listerine is right for oh. you. Whoa! That wasn't I, as that wasn't as uh, cool as I thought it would. Accidents do happen. I, so let's start filtering some mouthwash. I was trying to do this, and it was going to be awesome. That was cool the second time. Okay. Now this stuff right here. Yeah, it's got a lot. I mean, this has got some strong flavors. It's also very difficult to open. Here we go. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, glug 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 glug. Okay. All right, it is it is filtered, and I am gonna predict that the alcohol part of it did make it through because I've heard of people taking uh, cheap vodka and then filtering, filtering it multiple it. times yeah. in order to make it better vodka, which uh, according to my research, which is just reading, um, it doesn't, it makes it nominally better, but not as good as it's 21 top shelf. This is 21.6% alcohol, so like 40 proof. Wow. So. But it took the green out. Yeah, it's clear. Zero water takes the green out of Listerine. That's your new campaign. You're welcome. Is that, it's pleasing to me. Okay. Now let's both Don't start, drink that we, first. we know what Listerine tastes like. Yeah. We don't want to. It's really strong, so. Foul up our mouths. Oh, first of all, it smells just like Listerine. It does. It smells, well, smell of this. <laughs> no, it, it, the flavor is gone. It's just freaking alcohol now. 
I think I can sip a little bit. Well, now that all the mouthwashy part's gone, yeah. I'm gonna sip a little bit. Oh man, I would, I would just think that I was drinking mouthwash. But but taste that now. We need to compare because I, I would think that it's unchanged. But since this has to be. Oh no! no. <laughs> Woo! Woo! If you're in the mood for drinking mouthwash, filter it first. They say that chicken soup is good for the soul, but is it good for the mouth post water pitcher filter? Hmm. Hmm. Only one way to find out. You're just gonna, I mean, dump the noodles and everything. I don't wanna get it on myself. <laughs> then yeah, why not? Clunk, right there. The noodles did not make it through. Nope, look at them, they're just, oh, don't cover them up, they wanna get some air. They're just sitting there flat and sad. Chicken didn't make it through. Right, you're going veggies didn't make it through. But, something made it through because it is cloudy. <laughs> it, you gotta have you gotta have a confidence. Yeah, you gotta do it. You can't. You and I want to go in unison. You so. can't second guess yourself. Three, two, one. There you go. That's confidence. Nailed it. Oh gosh. Okay. You know what? If it's good for the soul, it can be good for the floor. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, go for it. This is like. Well, this is chicken noodle soup. Yeah, just chicken noodle soup. This is like cheap, sodium-free, noodle-free, chicken-free, carrot-free chicken noodle I soup. I doubt the sodium did. I bet you the sodium is one of the things that made it through. It still smells very chickeny. Mm-hmm. You don't like he? Linky don't like he? It's weird because it's the consistency of water. Again, it's just an essence of it's chicken noodle. It's an essence. I mean, it, you would think this would be very flavorful, but it's not, is it? It's, no, not at it's all. It's very mild. I could get through a lot of this before I realized something was wrong. You remember like when you would come in from PE and get, and get hold of that water fountain? Oh, oh, oh. And just suck the whole thing down? I could get half gallon of this stuff down before I was like, it's an essence of chicken noodle soup. <laughs> We are very excited to announce a new product, Good Mythical Beer. Here it is. Look at that label, isn't it great? It actually, it's just Budweiser in a, in a bottle that says yeah. GMM on it. We're not, of course we're not gonna sell <laughs> okay. beer. Uh, but contrary to popular belief, we are both s slightly over 21. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's hard so, to tell. Ooh, that hurt a little. All right. Now, now typically when you pour beer, you're supposed to you don't want to over fizz it, so you want to like bank shot it. I don't there think that's necessary. I know how to pour a bear. She's filtered. I can see a little color in there. Let's see what it looks like in the open. Because we know that the alcohol is going to come through based on the mouthwash. Ooh, man, that's clear. But where else does flavor come from in beer? You're a horrible beer pourer. No, the co this is how they do it on the commercials, man. Big head. There is none here. Uh, no froth. But it looks like a well hydrated uh, person peed in a glass. <laughs> this looks like an uh, an underhydrated person. Smells like beer. But again, an essence of. Does beer. it smell like not as much beer? Oh, not even close. And it doesn't smell. It doesn't smell like it's got any good flavors in it. It just kind of yeah. just smells like. Yeah. It. I don't expect this to be good at all. Of course, I don't know if I expected that to be good. Yeah. That is almost nothing. It's almost like somebody walked into a party with a Budweiser. Hey, <laughs> great party. <laughs> this is weaker than that. It's so This is subtle. weaker than great party, <laughs> guys. It's really, really subtle. But it tastes like something. Kind of like it. Better than Budweiser. Super light beer, the lightest. We've got the lightest beer. Come to our party. <laughs> T-I-L, when people talk about clean living, it has nothing to do with drinking Windex. Hmm. Now we're not gonna drink this, we're gonna filter right. it, and then we're just going to see if it 
can clean if it retains its cleaning power post filter. So glug 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 it. It's blue. It, I mean, it looks just like that daggone mouthwash, man. Okay, let's pour it back in. Again, we're not drinking this. We're actually going to test its actual cleaning properties whoa, whoa, whoa. and see if they've changed at all. Okay, get a nice precision pour on this thing. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, ooh, ooh, it's clear. The blueness is gone. That's enough. Maybe all it's taking out is the color. It does. It still smells really strong. Yeah, it, it smells like it's still got some some cleaning properties, but we have brought in. Uh, this is not just a new decoration. Uh, we're going to be cleaning this window. We've got tomato paste uh, and prints. hand prints here. So we got a couple paper towels back here. I'm gonna spray her down. All right. So I have the original Windex. Rhett has the filtered Windex. Okay, so, oh man. Okay. I think there's an initial difference. Yours is really dissolving yeah, look, it. Look at that, there's there's like, r nastiness is running down. Spray some more over there. I, I went pretty heavy. Mine is seriously not dissolving it. Like yours is, is breaking it down. Yep. Well, mine's breaking down a little bit, but not to the degree that yours is. Now let's just. There's some magic missing in yours that's been filtered out. Let's wipe easy. You're wiping from the front or the back? Always wipe from the front to the back. Well. Okay. We sprayed so much. So mine should look great. There's no doubt about that. Mm. Doesn't. Mine's smearing quite a bit. So is mine though. I got some smearage. No, not to the degree that mine is. Let's come out here and take a look. See about the difference. I'm gonna tell you right now, it looks the same. <laughs> it doesn't look any different. You're still cleaning. See, so the, look, you're getting down to perfection. So the blue in, in Windex is just a lie? <laughs> <laughs> We've been lied to. It could be any color. It could be any color. It could be, it could be Dookie Brown. <laughs> it should be Dookie Brown because of the... Windex, now in Deception. Dookie Brown. Let's do it. Let's have a party where we drink some ultralight beers. And a little bit of hint of uh, chicken noodle soup water. And then we just, we wash everything down with the Dookie Brown. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, we learned some stuff, hopefully you did. And once again, we have saved real scientists tons of effort like we always do on You're this You're welcome, show. scientists. Stick around to watch us do our helium balloon rant about traveling. Breakfast just got better with the GMM mug in orange and black, available at mythical.store.